Hello everyone, my name is Annette from Whitehorse Manningham Libraries and welcome to this tutorial on how to download ebooks and audiobooks using RB Digital. Ok, let's start. The first step is to install the RB Digital app onto your device. Make sure you are connected to the internet and go to the App Store or Google Play depending on the device you are using and search for RB Digital. As you can see, my RB Digital app has a small cloud here. That indicates I have installed the app before. If you are installing the app for the first time, you will see Get instead. Click on Get and wait for the app to install. Once the app installs, you will see a button that says Open. Click here to open it now or you can find the app on your device's home screen and click once to open it. Here is what the app icon looks like on your home screen. Click on the icon to open it. This will take you to the registration screen. Choose your country. Choose your library and then click create account. Enter your library card number without any spaces and then your account information and personal information. Tick the box that says I accept the terms of service and privacy policy, then click register. You will now see the home screen. From here you can check out ebooks and audiobooks. Firstly, we will look at ebooks. To view the whole collection, click the menu button in the upper left hand corner. Then click Books. Then ebooks. Next, click View All. And click Sort By to sort the books by relevance, title, author, or date added. Click Filter to search by keyword, title, or author. You can also search by genre, availability and audience. To search for a specific title, click on the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner and then type in your title or keywords. For example, if you were interested in The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton, you could type in keywords from the title here. And you would get this result. You can now click on the cover for more details. If you decide you would like to read this book, then click Check Out. This will download the book to your device. Next, click Read to begin reading. Just a word here about your internet connection. You will need to be connected to the internet to register for RB Digital and to download ebooks and audiobooks. However, once they have been downloaded, you no longer have to be connected to the internet to read them. Once you have finished reading for the day, you can just turn off your device. The next time you want to read the book, you open the app and click the menu button. Then click Checked Out to view the items you have on loan. Next click the book you want to read and click Read. It will open at the page you are reading. To return or renew the book, click the Return or Renew button. 
The number of ebooks you can download is unlimited and you can borrow them for three weeks with one renewal. If you don't return or renew an item before it is due to be returned, it will be automatically returned on the due date. There are no overdue fines. This is for both ebooks and audiobooks. Now some tips on reading ebooks. To view the contents or your bookmarks, tap the middle of the screen and then click the menu icon in the upper right hand corner. To add a bookmark, click the ribbon at the top of the page. To change your reading settings, click the icon with the big T and the little t. From here you can change the book's layout. For example, you can adjust brightness and change the margin size. Scroll allows you to adjust the page layout when you have your device in landscape mode. You can also change the text settings. You can adjust the text size. And you can change the text font. You can also choose a theme. You can change the theme from the default which is white to sepia or night which is black. Now to download audiobooks. You can browse new and popular audiobooks from the home screen. To view the whole collection, click the menu button. Then click books. Under the books menu, select audiobooks. Like ebooks, to search for a specific title, click on the magnifying glass. You can filter your search by keyword, title, author, narrator, genre, availability and audience. For example, if you were looking for The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson, you could type in the title and you would get this result. You can then click on the cover for more details. From here, you can view the narrator read the description and view details like the release date and duration. To check out the book, click check out. You can download unlimited titles and the loan period for audiobooks is two weeks with one renewal. To begin playing the book, click play. The next time you want to listen to the book, open the app and click the menu button. Click checked out to view the items you have online. Next, click the book you want to listen to. And click play. You can also click return or renew to return or renew the title. Now some tips on using the audio player. From the player, you can increase or decrease the speed of the audiobook by clicking the playback speed button on the bottom left of the screen. You can click chapter list to jump to a specific chapter. To add a bookmark, Click on the bookmark icon. 
then add bookmark. You can view your bookmarks by clicking view bookmarks. You can also set a sleep timer if you wish to listen to the book at bedtime. The sleep timer will automatically pause the book after a set period of time. To do this, click the sleep timer icon on the bottom left of the screen. And then select 15, 30, 45, 60 or 90 minutes. OK, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy using RB Digital. If you need more help, please feel free to contact us for more information.